Hi there. Welcome back. This is Rigor from Rigor's Garage and Boat Basin. Uh, today I'm doing an overview of the uh, evolution of the engine uh, in the, the well-crafted Excalibur. Um, hope you enjoy the episode and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the original engine that came with this boat was uh, basically a um, Merc Cruiser uh, 454, uh, 330 horse. Uh, pretty much a standard big block. Uh, only thing that happened was it was uh, uh, modified uh, slightly. Uh, lightning. Uh... Uh, the original exhaust was a water injected header that rusted out, and I replaced those with a first generation lightning tubular header that later uh, went to the full water jacketed tubular headers. Now this engine did have its problems. Um, it uh, didn't have a, a sealed transistor ignition in a marine environment. Uh, the, uh, the old lightning headers are a steel header and uh, they had, um, they leaked. Uh, they had basically rusted through in several areas. Uh, it was 330 horse, uh, basically on a 27-foot boat. You did about 45 miles an hour. Um, maybe 50 on a good day if you're going downhill. Uh, it, uh, it just needed to be refreshed. It was uh, burning oil. Of course, it always burned gas and lots of it. So I decided to have it rebuilt. Uh, so the new engine uh, had to have a new block. Uh, the old block had been bored 30 over already and couldn't go any further. Uh, so we went with a, uh, a dark block. And then we took uh, basically the parts from the old engine that were, were still usable and added some um, uh, new parts like uh, an MSD ignition. Uh, the work was done by a local shop. At Engine and Dino, and um, then I, of course I made the uh, cart with the wheels uh, to move the engine around while I uh, dressed it to put it in the uh, boat. Another problem with the engine was the ignition. Um, it had a uh, basically an, an automotive style. Um, Electronic ignition, um, it got wet and it quit working. So what I had to do is uh, basically go to a full sealed MSD system. Originally, when this boat was made in 1986, it was built with water-injected headers. Uh, of course... Uh, exhaust gases and water form acid and the uh, water injected headers rusted out. I replaced these with a tubular first generation lightning header. Um, eventually uh, those wore out and since I put together the new motor I decided to go to a full tubular header with an, an O2 bung uh, already built into it. I also added a uh, option for a through the prop exhaust to uh, control noise. Okay, this is the the engine in the boat. Uh, these are the headers, and what we're coming down to is we're going.
This was an overview of the kind of the evolution of the engine in the Wellcraft Excalibur. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a nice day now.